Hello. Uh, this video is about um, Mrs. Darwin, the poem by Carol Ann Duffy. Carol Ann Duffy was um, the Poet Laureate um, until a couple of years ago. She was the first um, woman to hold the post of Poet Laureate um, and the position has been around for hundreds of years. So that's um, quite incredible, really, that it, it took that long. Um, and that says something about um, just how much uh, the achievements of women have often been obscured um, behind um, the achievements that we've recognised in men. And Carol Ann Duffy, about 20 years ago, published um, a collection of poems called The World's Wife, in which she focuses on this by um, by taking the stories um, that focus on men, either fictional stories, myths, um, or histories as well, um, and um, finding the overlooked woman in those stories. Um, another one uh, where this happens is Anne Hathaway, um, a poem where she focuses on Sh William Shakespeare's wife, um, for example. But this one, Mrs. Darwin, is about um, Emma Darwin, the wife of um, the famous naturalist Charles Darwin, who um, published his theory on evolution that changed the way we think about how um, human beings um, came to be. Um, so let's read the poem now. So, Mrs. Darwin, see it's very short. Mrs. Darwin, 7th of April, 1852, went to the zoo. I said to him, something about that chimpanzee over there reminds me of you. Okay, so the first thing to do is to make a note about the title, okay? So we can tell from the fact that it's, um, it says Mrs. Darwin, that it is a reference to Charles Darwin. And I'll write that down now. But what else can we tell about the fact that it says Mrs. Darwin? Is her name just Mrs. Darwin? Well, no, she has a Christian name. Her Christian name was Emma. But Caroline Duffy hasn't used that Christian name. So we can tell already just in the title that she's commenting on um, the fact that women are often obscured, um, not least through the fact that their actual identity is taken away and they're referred to as Mrs. and then their husband's name. So um, I'm going to write that down as well. Mrs. rather than her actual name. And it shows she is hidden. OK, so next up, if we go to the first line, 7th of April, 1852. And you can see that that is italicised there. Now, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly significant about the exact date. However, um, we do know that um, Charles Darwin's Theories of Evolution was published later than that. So um, this could be... Um, uh, this this is this poem is grounded before he published his theories of evolution. Okay, so we'll write that down before his work was published. Okay, um, and also with it being italicised like that. We can see that this is supposed to look like a diary entry. Okay, so I'm going to write down that. So the form is like a diary entry. Okay, um, and then next line, I said to him. Uh, sorry, the next line was um, went to the zoo. Okay, so the zoo is the, the place that um, people typically would go to um, view animals, isn't it? Now, Charles Darwin actually went on a ship all around the world and went to the Galapagos Islands. Well, um, it would be um, much less likely at that time for a woman to have the um, opportunity to be able to do that um, in a... You know, in a, in a world dominated by the patriarchy and um, men being the ones who 
um, who worked and who were allowed to go out and discover things. So um, I'm going to write down that the zoo is probably the only place that a woman might have been able to see wild animals from further afield at that time. Okay, and then we've got, I said to him. Now, in that line, interestingly, um, the, um, the word him is given a capital H. Can you see that? Now, the other time that you'll see the word him written with a capital H when it's uh, just in the middle of a, of a sentence um, is in the Bible. We refer to God with um, a, always a capital G and always a capital H when we refer to him as him and he. Um, so what is Carolyn Duffy uh, doing with that? Well, in some way, she's comparing um, Charles Darwin to God. Um, but it doesn't seem that we're expected to take this at um, face value. Um, it seems that um, she's being ironic, that she's poking fun, perhaps, at um, the fact that uh, he was um, he's given a godlike status um, when perhaps she's um, finding a, 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 a scenario or a narrative where um, it might be that his um, theory was um, actually thought up by his wife. Um, and also um, it could be the um, the fact of just how important his theories did become, um, particularly to Victorians whose views on God and how God had created the world were ultimately given a direct challenge um, by um, Charles Darwin's work. OK, so references. Darwin's works challenge to religion. Okay, um, so if we go back to the page here. Um, I said to him, um, and if we look then, something about that chimpanzee over there reminds me of you. Okay, so she's ironically now um, it, directly referring to um, the theory of evolution. The theory of evolution is that um, humans and chimpanzees have a common ancestor. So um, not that we're descended from chimpanzees, but that we're descended from some other ape. And that ape um, is the ancestor of us and is also the ancestor of um, chimpanzees and other apes as well. OK, so um, that um, theory would explain why we have a lot of similarities with chimpanzees. But Mrs. Darwin is um, describing this in a way that pokes fun at her husband and um, says that actually she has thought up this theory of evolution by virtue of how ape-like and um, perhaps childlike um, her husband is. So it's actually her husband's inadequacy that has brought about this theory of evolution rather than her husband's excellence. OK, so we write down something to do with that. I think I'll write down. Um, could it be husband's inadequacy rather than excellence? rather okay so she's at the same time as um sort of 
making out that her husband is is self-important and she's um, knocking him down a peg or two she's also um knocking at the self-importance of mankind as well and she's um backing up um this theory of um evolution and theory that we're perhaps not so different from animals okay so there you have it that is um, a very short poem that we've analyzed together now um i wouldn't normally write with pen all over one of my precious books but in a scenario where i can't get into work to photocopy it that is what has had to happen okay so lovely short poem there mrs darwin by caroline duffy 7th of april 1852 went to the zoo i said to him something about that chimpanzee over there reminds me of you okay um i hope that you've enjoyed our first poetry um video um and um i hope that you've managed to write down some notes yourself thanks very much stay safe wash your hands